the leaves are starting to change. Welcome everyone to another pet hog vlog. So I'm just finishing up my morning running around right now. I got Fungry Thursday beer of the week to film this weekend. I also got some paint at the paint store and I also picked up Amanda some flowers just because. So I'm gonna head out there right now, drop those off, go check out the fish store that's over by where she works because I haven't been there and I don't even know, probably about six months now. So take a peek around, see if they have anything there. They definitely have a lot of nice coral last time I was in there. So hopefully they will have something nice. Anyways, let's head out to Agawam. All right, just picked up some Wendy's, got some stuff at the fish store. I will show you that when I get home. The other day there was a fire, a massive fire somewhere back here by this greenhouse. I don't know if you can see, there it is. There's a building that was burned down. Anyways, I got to the salon, gave Amanda the flowers. There was a piece of furniture that she got and needless to say, never got around to setting it up. So I just set it up for her real quick. And then I went over to the fish store and I spent a little while in there talking with the owner because I have that clam in my fish tank and it is just, it's getting way, way, way too big. And before something happens such as it damages its shell or I don't know, anything bad happens, I wanted to try to find a home for it, a home of somebody that I know would take care of it because clams live for a very, very long time. And every time that I've gone into the store, the owner has a couple of display tanks with massive clams. Like I'm talking about these clams are the size of basketballs, if not bigger. And they are the same type of clam that I have. So I know just from looking at the stuff that he has there that he knows how to take care of them. So needless to say, I got into a conversation with him. I got his card so I can send him some more pictures of the clam. I showed him pictures on the phone but I think I might have found a, a new home for the clam, but I will update you that update, update you on that as the time comes for that. I'm kind of upset, I'm sad. I don't want to let the clam go. I got the clam when he was about this big and yeah, it's massive now. It's at least 13 inches big, 13 inches wide. So I'm gonna go drop off, I got Amanda some lunch here to go drop that off and then go home put the corals in the tank show you the corals that i got i got a nice aiken and i got a couple of polyps so yeah hang on tight i'll be home in a minute All right, so I got home a little while ago. I'm watering the lawn, as you can see with the hose and the sprinkler out there. And also, just picked some more tomatoes from the garden. I'm stowing these right now. I'm gonna put them in a nice ice bath to get rid of the skins and then freeze them. And then hopefully that will put us over the three gallon mark for tomato puree to make spaghetti sauce. Hold on one sec, let me finish this and then I will show you guys the pieces of coral that I got today at the fish store. All right, so they are back here. I've got a couple of crabs. You can see one of them is this guy right there. This, this crab right there. They're called scarlet red crabs or scarlet red scarlet crab, something like that. And I also got this Aiken right down there. Let me actually just throw the filter on so you guys can see it a little better. Hold on. There we go, okay. So, this green Aiken right here I got today. Pretty nice little piece. I honestly don't think I have any room in my garden up there for it, so I will have to find someplace else for it. And these are the crabs right back there. That's one of the crabs. Scarlet red crab, red scarlet crab, blood red scarlet crab. There's a bunch of different names for them, but they're pretty much all the same exact thing. All right, and with that being said, 
have a couple other things to do today. Oh, as I trip over the sheets on the bed. I also have to go finish a project that I've been working on this week. That's why you guys didn't see that many vlogs. So I'm gonna empty this out now. You guys enjoyed this time lapse of the rest of today, and then tomorrow I will have another vlog up because there's something special going on in this town this weekend that I want to show you guys. I showed you it last year, so if you feel like doing a little research, maybe you can find out what I'm talking about. Other than that, that is going to do it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Vlog over.